Hello, YouTubers. This is Johnny. Welcome to my NASAC YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show my lab migration. Um, I was using ESXi on my Mac Mini 5.1 for quite a bit of time. I have a bunch of server running on it. It's a 16 gig memory and i5 CPU. Mostly, it's fine. It's running a couple of virtual machines, four or five virtual machines is not a problem. Sometimes I do need a better performance. Then I got a couple of um, HP Z600, 620, A20 workstation. Um, recently, I purchased a Z820 workstation. And I'm thinking about to migrating my ESXi to Hyper-V. For migration V2V, um, I found two solutions. One is from Microsoft. So this uh, Microsoft Virtual Machine Converter. The latest version is 3.0 and you can download it for free. Actually, this software has been retired around 2017, 2018, but it's still available to downloading. I did that. Another solution I found um, is a Starwind V2V Converter. Um, I'm going to give it both a try, um, and I found that Starwind V2V Converter is much better. Uh, uh, actually, Microsoft Virtual Machine Converter 3.0 has got some problems. I didn't spend time to troubleshooting on it, but uh, Starwind V2V, right away, it's working. Um, you Actually, you need to register this software, and then you will get the download link. Um, here is the download link. If you don't want to register, to get the email and you can directly use this link to download it. I already did that and I installed both Star Wind V2V and Microsoft Virtual Machine Converter 3.1. It shows 3.0 but actually when you download it is 3.1. I'm going to show you quickly how did I use those software and what's the problem I have with Microsoft Virtual Machine Converter. So this is a Hyper-V host as a destination for a virtual machine. Hi, I'm going to use in my Windows user account. Next. So specify a path to store the converted uh, virtual hard disks. I want to dynamic, dynamically expanding. Um, I have share folder here. Next. Specify the details to connect to virtual. This is a vCenter server. That's a server for these virtual machines. As you can see, um, I have a bunch of uh, virtual machines here, but actually I have more in my data store. So I'm going to give you an example how did I convert uh, one ESXi virtual machine to the Hyper-V. So it's found out uh, the virtual machines listed in my ESXi. I'm going to start with some quick simple ones. It's a Windows 7 machine. Next. Seven. So the video memory config on a VMware guest machine is greater than four megabytes. I think that should be fine. It's a warning. So it's a very date conversion. It's always sitting at 37% after probably Half a minute, I will get a uh, convert disk failed. So the log shows some um, bunch of things here, um, which I don't understand that well. Um, I didn't want to spend time to troubleshooting and figure this out. Uh, what I will do later is just uninstall it since uh, Starwind V2V converter works very well. In my case, so 
So I uh, source is a remote VMware ESXi server. That's my source. Uh, ESXi, so it's uh, 192. 8.2.0 username is root and the password for root so same and uh, I found the lots of virtual machines I'm gonna do same just um destination put into my Microsoft Hyper-V server which is local on this server Next, so it's local host. I need to choose where to put it. So I already create that folder for that. Okay, it's a Windows network connection. That's only network switch I created so far. That's the default switch. So convert. It's opening image file. It's creating output image file. We'll wait and see. Uh, it's probably take um, 30 minutes to get it done. I will pause my video and then come back once it's done. Converting has been completed. It's 100%. It took probably 13 minutes, around 13 minutes. Uh, let's look hyper V it immediately shows in your hyper V manager I'm gonna give it a try so looks nice I don't see any problem with it. So far it's working. Let's take a look at settings. It's using 4 gig of RAM, 2 CPUs. which I believe is same as I used it before. Four gig RAM to CPU. And then we got the login window. And then we log it in. It's a bit, little bit slow, but probably because it still start running. Is home network is still installing some device driver for this new VM. That's understandable. Okay, after that, it's much faster now. So let's basically whole process you, how you can convert your ESXi virtual machine to your Hyper-V um, using Starwind V2V converter. The experience is wonderful. It's very smooth. 
I didn't experience any issue. But the Microsoft Virtual Machine Converter, which is having problem with my environment. So that's today's video. If you having same requirement to convert your ESXi virtual machine to Hyper-V, maybe this video can help you to select which one to use. Thank you for watching. Thank you.